Hello, and welcome to Storytime with Jordan. I'm Jordan, and this is Storytime. Today, we are going to be reading a tragic and, I'll say tragic and beautiful, The Giving Tree, 50th Anniversary Sparkly Edition, by Shel Silverstein. I, uh, I read this, and honestly, uh, in the beginning, it was, you know, it was, it was innocent. Then it just started to go downhill from there and maybe redeemed itself, but left me feeling... Remember when Bambi's mama got shot? It's like that, but, but ten times worse. I'll read it and facilitate and be a vessel. But you guys make the decisions and, and, and tell me about it because I, I want to hear what y'all think. This was a recommendation by Cameron Kears. Shout out to Cameron Kears. The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Once there was a tree and she loved a little boy. There's a tree, a little foot, a little boy right there. So some mystery. And every day the boy would come. See, I, I didn't see this before. The tree's already like showing human, human qualities. Arms open. And he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. So they are just having the time of their lives. I remember climbing trees, you know? You little kid, the tree just seems like it's as big as a tree. <laughs> and they would play hide and go seek. All right, this is where it gets a little iffy for me because now he's playing with the tree and the tree is alive seemingly because it's little branch is playing with him. The kid knows there's something special about this tree. You know, it's not any regular tree. He, he's playing hide-and-go-seek, swinging from its branches. There is some extra knowledge, okay? This tree is different, y'all. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. There's him sleeping. Just love, man. And the boy loved the tree. He's hugging the tree, and the tree is hugging him back, okay? There's a vine wrapped under his arm and then around his shoulder. So that is an, an embrace. It's not like a vine just came and plopped on his shoulder. The tree has a grip on this child. Love. And the tree was happy. Okay. This is where it gets a little, a little weird because he carved his name and, and, and the initials of, of the tree with a knife in the tree's skin on its body. Me and T. T already knows it's with me, meaning you, little boy. So, I know we together, but like, Just in case you didn't know, like, you mine, and I'm yours. No, it don't work that way. But the tree was happy, so. But time went by. Ooh, time. The leaves are falling, and he's not catching them anymore. You and nature, homie, do something. And the boy grew older. Ooh. See, how you gonna carve the new booze name right above it, like, uh, and then you bring her to the tree, like, oh, let's go to my tree, chill out, you know, got the shoes off, I don't know what they doing behind the tree, probably something that ends in I-N-G, and the tree was often alone. There you go with the arms, with the little tree arms, just crossing them. Then one day the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, come boy, Come and climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in my shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I, I have no money. 
I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. Then you will have money and you will be happy. Ah. Right there? I don't like him. I can't relate to him anymore. He's saying, oh, well, I don't like trees, no, but, but you got money? Knowing damn well, knowing damn well the tree ain't got no damn money. And this is the first time the tree talked to the little boy. So he's like, ooh, like you've been hugging with me, like playing hot and go seek, but maybe I was a little kid, you know? Maybe it was just, you know, my kid fantasies. But nah, you gonna open your little tree mouth and speak, but you know, that ain't shit. I want some cash. And so, the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. That's a lot of apples. He's just up there, shoes off, just... But the boy stayed away for a long time. And the tree was sad. And then one day, the boy came back and the tree shook with joy and said, Come boy. Climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife and I want children and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I, I have no houses, said the tree. The forest is my house, but, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. He knows she don't got a house up there in the leaves with her. He'd been up there multiple times, shook all the apples out. He's just asking, just ask, ask, ask. I want all these material things. The giving tree just gives, okay? It's, uh, it's a little ridiculous. Ridiculous! And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. First of all, I don't even know how he carried all those damn branches by him damn self. Tree all curved. He's smiling, got some cracks around the eyes. I just, I can't. And the tree was happy, of course. But the boy stayed away for a long time. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered. Come and play. I am too old and sad to play said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and be happy. First of all, why he said? Hmm? I don't think the family and the wife turned out the way he'd like it to be. But Maybe that's karma. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. He's an old man, y'all. Who said he was too old to play in the tree? But, but he's clearly built enough to walk away with the trunk and build a boat out of his bare hands. So, so he has some energy. He's been drinking the Ovaltine. And the tree was happy. But not really. See, I feel like this line is the strongest line in the book because, and the tree was happy, probably always had that dot, dot, dot there, you know? She gave all her apples away, she, she gave all the leaves away, and the tree was happy, but not really. She just a stump. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I'm so sorry, boy said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are weak. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I am too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I am too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I am just an old stump. I am sorry. I just don't like it, y'all. See, he comes and the first thing, 
first thing she says is, yo, 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 I can't give you nothing no more. Like, I ain't got nothing no more. You took everything from me. Because she knows that's all he wants. This, this is why all the little kids running around here, and adults, in unhealthy relationships, the equality, the balance, it's off. This ain't a tree no more. It's cut down. That ain't love. You know? And she loved him. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I am very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy. Sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. He's sitting on her face. The book ends with his ass on her face. I don't know what I'm supposed to get from this. Give until you can't give anymore. And then just let somebody sit their ass on your face. And this is Shel Silverstein. I don't know what he was thinking when he was writing this. I know he probably had some deep inner meaning behind it. I just, I can't, I can't get with it. I don't vibe with the giving tree. I just, I, no. No. Like it's, it's not a happy children's book. This book is a tragedy. It's a tragic love story between a tree and a boy. If anything, it's a metaphor for, for the earth and humans raping the land. And that is, is a disgusting truth. Well, sorry I got kind of real, but, uh, you know, that's, that's the story corner. I read books, and some books just give you real life. The Giving Tree gave me real life. Plant something, y'all. Why don't you just go outside and, and plant something? Buy, buy some seeds and plant. Y'all already saw I got my basil out there, but you know I'm trying to maybe, maybe grow some kale. Grow the earth because, because trees just want to give. So we should give back. Well, thank you for, for, for staying with me and listening and, uh, Send me suggestions, watch other videos if you haven't, and uh, 